Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at some real old school redstone stuff here. This is the Castle Gate, and as I'm sure you're aware, they have been around for absolutely donkey's years. But occasionally it is good to revisit some old builds and take a look at what can be improved. So this is the ultra simple Castle Gate design that I've come up with, and I think you're going to like it. For anyone who hasn't seen one of these before, it is of course inspired by the Portcullis. Those are the big gates that you see on the front of very large castles, and it's often there to prevent unwanted people from coming in, because of course, if you are met with a large iron gate, you're not going to be getting through particularly easily. But anyway, what we have to do here is flick this lever, and as you can see, our portcullis or castle gate is pushed upwards, allowing us to pass on through, but when we flick the lever once again, as you can see, it is pushed back down, preventing anything from getting in. Despite this sort of stuff coming from the Middle Ages, the redstone behind it is actually relatively high tech. As you can see, the circuit is only three blocks wide, and it is all extremely simple, consisting mainly of just a few dots of redstone dust, a few repeaters, a couple of redstone torches and pistons, and that's pretty much you all done and dusted. Now, of course, if you don't want to build this thing, but you do want to take a closer look at all of the redstone behind it, then there is a well download down in the description. Chuck it into your Minecraft web save folder, go back and forth through the door, because it is a cool looking door, and I'm sure you have fun with that one. But anyway, it is now time to crack on, and I'll show you how to build this thing. Now it is important to mention that this design is actually infinitely expandable, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the 3x4 design, but it can be expanded up to 15 blocks in width, and if you do want to do that, you're going to have to copy all of the redstone right the way across, and I'll get onto that in a couple of seconds. But anyway, if you're going to be doing that design there, you want to get things started with a 3x6 area, and the first thing that we're going to be doing is a little bit of the redstone wiring. So you want to place redstone going right the way across like this, repeaters going all the way across here, with them all set to 3 ticks like that, they're all going to be running into blocks with redstone torches on top of all of those, then blocks on top of those torches with more redstone torches on the sides of those blocks, and then blocks going all the way across like this. Then what you want to do is grab your sticky pistons and place them like that, and then regular pistons facing upwards there, and you're going to place your sand blocks in like this, and this level here is actually going to be your floor level. On top of all your sand blocks, what you want to do is place down all your fence posts, and you are obviously going to be creating a 3x4 area here, so just place all of those in. Then you want to go down to this bottom piece of redstone dust here, and chuck down a button, give it a press, and as you can see, all of your fence posts are pushed upwards, so now you can work out where you're going to be placing your pistons. So you want to go two blocks up like this, and place two regular pistons facing downwards there, then take out that temporary block, and just run those right the way across all of your fence posts. They are of course going to be pushing the fence posts down, so that they go back to their original position. So now now what you want to do is place blocks right the way across like this, with redstone dust on top of all of those, then head down to this fence post here, and place your ceiling blocks right the way across there, with redstone dust on top of all of that, and then the second piston from the right, you want to place a block out like this, and a block out like this, with redstone dust on top of both of those, because that is how we are going to connect them both up. To do your input, you want to head down to the bottom left hand corner right next to all these pistons, place a block there with a repeater running into a block with a redstone torch on the side, a repeater running straight out into a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. Now that is going to create a falling edge monostable circuit, which means it will only activate all of these pistons on the falling edge. So if you flick this, as you can see, nothing happens, but then we flick it again, something happens and they all extend, meaning that all of these fence posts would actually be pushed upwards. Then head back over to your input block, you want to place a redstone torch and then continue that redstone torch tower right the way up to the top of your system, just going up like this, and the final torch should be in line with all of these regular pistons right here. So next to that torch you want to place a dropper facing across, with a hopper running into the side of that one, that is going to create a monostable circuit, and you want to place two blocks like this, a comparator running out of that hopper, with a repeater running straight into that block there, then head over to your dropper and place in any old item, and now we're going to head back down to the bottom, we flick this lever here, and as you can see, both of those will extend, pushing all of our fence gates back down here, but then when we flick it again, it all gets pushed upwards. Nicely done. It is now time to fill in the surrounding area, so we're going to place blocks all the way up like this, and I like to have a few of the fences actually exposed when the door is open, I think that looks really cool, a lot like a regular castle, so we're going to place blocks all the way around like this, and then all the way down on this side. You guys are better decorators than me, you do a much better job of this than me, so I'll just leave you to your own devices, and I'm not going to give you too much advice on how to do that, but as you can see, we are all now done and dusted, our castle gate is now complete. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today, I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe, but thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo, and I'm out, I'll see you later.